Today, as you know, is 2nd of October, and it is a very important occasion in the history of India. Because at, on this particular day, a very important person who was to play a very major role in the future of India was born. Today, we as an independent nation owe our gratitude to him for having worked relentlessly, selflessly, and tirelessly to achieve the freedom that we have today. His way of achieving freedom for this nation was fraught with a lot of challenges. However, he showed the way towards peace and non-violence. That is why today we celebrate Gandhi Jayanti. Unfortunately, he was gunned down by the persons who thought that his methods perhaps were not okay or there was some other opposition. But in spite of all this, the message that he has left stays with us even today. And it is very important that we acknowledge his role in the history of our nation. Also today is the birthday is of another very strong and a very sincere person. That was Sri Lal Bahadur Shastri. He also worked tirelessly for our nation. And we can see that in his leadership also, India achieved great heights. So now I will hand over this to the students. And uh, first of all, to you, Vibhor. I would like to speak on the poem, What Gandhi Might Thought from the Heaven. What are they doing? said MDK Gandhi from the heaven. I never wanted speeches on my birthday, nor I wanted a ceremony on the day. Given my life to a plant and cleanliness in the earth, where even an aunt enjoy freshness of the plant. Time is wasted talking how high I acted, not to plant a single tree, taking my birthday a memorable day. Perhaps this poem is also born in vain for telling a better truth, but he might thought from the heaven. Thank you, Vibhor. All right. Uh, who would like to go next? Ayushi. Yes, yes ma'am. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and talks the way. Yes, I'm talking about such a personality who has played an important role in giving our country freedom from British rule. Yes, you recognize right here. I'm talking about most beloved and respected man, Mahatma Gandhi. A very warm welcome and a hearty good morning to one of all present here. This is Ayushi Rajput and I am glad that I have an opportunity to speak on such a respected person like Papu. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, whom we call as Mahatma Gandhi or Papu, was born on 2nd October 1869 in Fort Bandra, Gujarat. In a Hindu family, he was a mentor of non-violence. Hence, his first anniversary, that is 2nd October, is also celebrated as International Day of Nonviolence. Gandhi Jayanti is celebrated every year to pay him a tribute and remember his great work for India independence. It is celebrated at Raj Ghat, New Delhi. With a lot of preparation, prayer meetings are held at the memory of Mahatma Gandhi. Prime Minister and President of India are present here. During the prayer, Mahatma Gandhi prayed with devotional song Raghupati Raghav Raja Ram is sung in his memory. Mahatma Gandhi's contribution 
in bringing peace in the world is remarkable. His teaching can be implemented ever today to avoid violence and conflict in the world. Jai Hind. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, can we have Suyash? Yes, ma'am. Firstly, I would like to greet respected, uh, to my respected teachers and my uh, dear friends. Today, I am talking about Mahatma Gandhi. We celebrate October 2nd as the uh, anniversary of Mah Mohan Das Karamchand Gandhi, who led perhaps the biggest mass movement in the world. The hallmark of this movement was non-violence. It is the recognition of his contribution that the United Nations has declared October 2nd as the International Day of Non-Violence. He conducted freedom movement across the world to fight for people's civil rights. In South Africa, 1914, he got the, he got the name Mahatma, uh, Mahatma. People call him Bapu and the Gandhiji with love. As we know, every year at Rajghat or Gandhiji Samadhi at New Delhi, many peoples and our great leaders, including Rashtrapati and Prime Minister, pay homage to, to this great leader of the nation. They place wreath at the Samadhi and offering of flowers. All religions, all religions prayer held at the Samadhi in the morning and ch uh, Charkha competition is held. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. As you can see, even today, Kantiji is present in all our deeds. And uh, I think he has also shaped the thought of a nation. In 2014, our respected Prime Minister, Mr. Modi, had inaugurated the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. And uh, I would like one of our students to speak on this Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. I'm here to deliver a speech on Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. The mission planned for advancing towards target 6.2 of the Sustainable Development Goals, number six set up by the United Nations in 2015. A spotless India has consistently been the fantasy of each Indian. The sanitation prompts a sound, alignment free and happy life. There are uncommon individuals in India who are genuine about neatness, while the greater part of the populace couldn't care any about the sanitation around them. The neatness of India is fundamental for the improvement of the nation. A prime minister comprehended the requirement of neatness, paid attention to it, and in this arrangement, he propelled the tidiness crusade in India to be specific Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. Mahatma Gandhi has said that has said that sanitation is a higher priority than independence. India is as yet a creating nation on account of the poverty, absence of instruction, uh, absence of tidiness, and other social issues. We have to kill all the awful reasons for, from the general public, causing a check in the development of and improvement of our nation. Just the achievement of neatness. Crusades may acquire an immensely positive change in India. It has a place with the inner and outer development and advancement of everybody living in India, which shows us the fulfillment of motto of spotless, happy and healthy citizen grants and healthy and developed nation. Swachh Bharat Abhiyan or Clean India Movement was begun by the leader of India, Narendra Modi, in 2014 on Gandhi Jayanti. 2nd of October. Uh, so as to guarantee the cleanliness everywhere throughout the nation, it is, it is important to take care of sanitation issues, safe latrine, and legitimate waste administration. The head administrator of India, Narendra Modi, has underlined individuals about clean India during his discourse, of, discourse on August 15, 2014. On India, on the Indian Independence Day, Independence Day, anyway, the invasion was propelled effectively on October 2nd, 
in 2014 this crucial focused on its consumption consumption till 2019 the 150th birthday commendation of the bachan offices to all just as wipe out of all the unfortunate acts of individuals by 2019 It was September twenty fifth when the Indian PM began the main tidiness drive, as mindfulness crusade in India, which has gotten viral. Appropriate kindness and tidiness can change the worldwide obsession about India. This may pull in more sight, more uh, sightseers consistently, which like. this may build the economy of india to an extraordinary level as indicated by this battle each indian resident has been mentioned to dedicate their 100% 100 hours just yearly for neatness in india there is a standard to make separate latrines for young men and young ladies in every school and universities everywhere throughout india for welling and cleanliness by august 15 2015 as an understudy and above all an indian resident i also demand all the individual assembly to take contented but yes i think unnati who your voice is lagging a bit but thank you so much for conveying the message of the swachh bharat abhiyan uh now we have sneha sneha yes i sneha as a citizen of india would like to say something on freedom on this auspicious occasion of the birthday of mahatma gandhi and lal bahadur shastri freedom refers to a state of independence where you can do what you like without any restriction by anyone moreover freedom can be called a state of mind where you have the right of doing what you can think of india had been earlier ruled by the britishers and to get rid of those rulers did india fight back to earn their freedom after that long fight and lots of sacrifices india is now a free country and have the largest democracy in the world after independence india gave its citizens freedom without restrictions India has many rights like right to equality right to education and so on which provides its citizens every freedom that they can't get in any other country what's the value of freedom the real value of anything can only be understood by those who have earned it or who have sacrificed their lives for it freedom also means liberalization from oppression freedom also means freedom from racism from the harm from discrimination and many more things freedom does not mean that you violate others rights it does not mean that you disregard others rights freedom doesn't have a particular definition freedom is a psychological concept everyone have different view on in my opinion freedom means the right to say no the right to make our own choice express our own ideas and opinions the true meaning of freedom in brief is that it means giving equal opportunities to everyone for liberty and pursuit of happiness lastly i would say that we should preserve and respect this hard earned freedom whose idea is given to us by mahatma gandhi during his journey of struggle for freedom for his later generations thank you thank you so much sneha it is true this freedom should be valued because it was taken at a very big price that was paid for our country and today we enjoy this freedom we do these things 
without any fear of being checked and enjoy all the facilities of a good nation. It is because of this struggle conducted by our leaders and of course Gandhiji was one of the leaders who formed this entire chain and that made the difference. He worked towards civil disobedience and non-violence because he felt it was possible to achieve one's goals without resorting to violence. And that is what he taught us as a nation. We should remember this lesson and at the same time be able to be responsible citizens. Another thing students that I would like to share with you is the fact that Gandhiji was a strong believer in prohibition. What is prohibition? He felt that if anyone was uh, being addicted to alcohol or to any abusive substances, then obviously that person could not function to the best of their ability. And today, interestingly, apart from being Gandhiji's birthday, it is also the world no alcohol day, which means today we spread awareness about how alcohol is damaging to our bodies, to our family lives, to our income, to everything. You are well aware of the fact that when driving under the influence of alcohol, more accidents happen because of poor judgmental abilities. Also, risky behavior increases. That means that we are not behaving in a responsible manner. And that leads to accidents. It could lead to very big disastrous consequences, not only for oneself, but also for others. So as rightful, respectable citizens of this country, as well as citizens of the world, today, I urge you all to take this pledge to always abstain from alcohol, beverages, or anything that causes poor judgmental abilities. It could be any form of alcohol. As you are aware, students, that uh, nowadays there are full inquiries going on in the very big film entertainment industry about how drugs have really formed their entire clause over there. And the reason is because people have indulged in irresponsible behavior. Gandhiji did not support such behavior. He supported responsible behavior and also a healthy, clean living. So that's very important today for you as young students to understand the importance of leading a clean, healthy life. Because tomorrow in life, as you grow older, you are preparing for more responsibilities. If you take poor judgmental decisions, it will not be beneficial for anyone. So on this note, I would also like to further add the concept of cleanliness. Everywhere we know disease is one of the major breeding grounds in untidy surroundings. Untidiness offers a big place for every kind of disease, any kind of uh, problem to flourish. But we all know that cleanliness is next to godliness. So today, let us also pledge to work towards a cleaner nation. As you know, in many countries abroad, people are so focused on having a clean nation, having a clean city, having a clean house. Every little thing matters. And we know that once we are, we are in clean surroundings, we are healthier, we are happier, we are able to achieve much more. The reason being that now our mind is not fettered. That is what I think Gandhiji was trying to teach us. 
and it has taken us so many years as a nation to wake up to this and our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji he was the one who refocused our attention towards building a healthier cleaner nation so i urge you all in your surroundings whatever little area you may be whatever little step that you take to be mindful not to create garbage where to you can dispose it of sensibly do these things little steps will take you a long way and we will find that we are able to achieve much more now i will be playing a song for you before the meeting ends this song was the favorite bhajan of gandhi ji and uh, we will listen to this now वैष्णव जन तो देने कहिए जे देव पराई जाने रे लोक वंदे
forward in building this nation and today it is our responsibility to to take this forward to work towards a better india to work towards a cleaner india and also to work towards a healthier india as we deal with this pandemic where we are all confined to our homes our learning should not stop we should continue and remain dedicated to the cause of building a strong nation thank you for joining us today i wish you all the best once again thank you students you may leave the class now <laughs>